What's up everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. What? Alright, and welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the show and want to get right to the game, you can go to this number right here and it'll take you right to the game. Otherwise, we're going to yak for a little bit. So, Chris, what's new with you in the world of gaming? Well, a couple of things. I started uploading games on my channel, Chris K, the Film Guy. So, if you want to see some of that, sometimes we'll do a playthrough of a video game before we play it here, and I'll throw that up there. Or sometimes I'll hang out with uh, my friends Mike and Tom, and we'll do stuff, or I'll just do something for uh, research. So, I might throw that up on Chris K, the Film Guy. Other thing is, now maybe I don't know if you want to tell your side of the story first. Oh, okay. So we can actually split it up now. We're Let's gonna split switch. It up. We're going to switch stuff Let's up. mix this up. So I'm going to go first. Yeah, let's tell the story in order. All right. I was at a thrift store dinking around looking for some gaming stuff like I always do, and I ran into this, and I was like, holy cow, I've never seen stuff like this out and about in the wild. And what, what I ended up finding is Odyssey 2 games complete in the boxes. Now, I did not have a whole bunch of money on me, so I was like, oh, man, what should I get? What should I get? And so, and like I said, this stuff is like really rare and obscure around here. Like we never, ever see stuff like this in real life. I've never seen any of it in real life until just the other day. No, we don't. And um, I ended up picking some of these. This one is a uh, matchmaker logics and buzzword and it is complete. Open it up and it's got the manual, mm -hmm. which is awesome. <clears throat> and of course it comes with the game. So we got that, and the only problem is that the boxes are a little wonky. I mean, they do fit, but you can old. definitely tell they were used yeah. pretty good. So there was that, and then I got block out and break down, and once again, it is complete. And I also picked up Speedway, Spin Out, and Cryptic Log Crypto Logic. And once again, it's complete. But box is in a little bit of a rough shape, but it's not too bad. And um, also laying there in a little plastic container was a bunch of Intellivision games. Mm -hmm. And I was, like I said, I did not have much money. So I was like, oh, what should I grab? What should I grab? And I ended up picking this up because I never really heard of it. Beauty and the Beast. So it's basically like um, a Donkey Kong, Kong clone in a sense. You run up a building and rescue the princess from the monkey. Huh. Which is weird that they call it Beauty and the Beast. Nothing to do with like actually Beauty and the Beast as far as I gather. They had pretty good prices on the game, so I picked up what I could. And then I sent you a text, and I was like, hey, if you can get over there, um, see what you can find. Yeah, so the very next morning, I came in there, and it was like 11 o'clock, 11.30, and I needed to get to work at 12. So I'm texting Jake. I'm like, hey, which one of these do I pick up? Which, which, what's good? What's not good? Do we have this console? Do we not have this console? What do we do? Hurry up, hurry up. I'm, i I got to hurry up. So I was looking at it all, and I'm like, okay, fine. I told Jake, I'll pick up the ones in box. So I ended up getting the Odyssey 2 games because I figured they'll probably be worth something even if I can't play some uh, somebody else might be able to play them. Yeah, we don't own an Odyssey 2. We by don't the way. own one. Yeah, maybe I'll get one or maybe I'll trade these games to somebody who does. Or maybe I'll sell them to you so you can trade them. And the thing that really ticks me off about this place that we were at uh, is that they put tape all over yeah. these cases. I'm like, what are you doing? It's like got a little as-is sticker and a complete with a with a price tag that's designed to rip into shreds. It's got tape. Tape and vintage toys don't mix. <sighs> anyway, I don't know how we're going to deal with this or maybe let the next guy deal with it. I got Las Vegas Blackjack. I got bowling and basketball because that's a good combo. <laughs> hey, bowling with basketball? No, uh, two games. And uh, baseball here. Complete in the set, in, in the case. This one is uh, football, computer golf, and um, then I was like, ah, screw it. You know what? I don't know what's worth it, what's not. I'm buying it all. <laughs> so <laughs> I got all of these little cases here. Um, 
Let's start with the one that's different. The one Coleco out of the box is it's Donkey Kong. Yeah. So then I guess these are iMagic games. They look kind of funny. Yeah, these are all in television games. These I was like, I definitely want these because I'm a huge Tron fan. So I got something called Tron Deadly Discs and Tron Mazathon. This is 1982 and 1981. Mazatron. Oh, okay. Then I got a few of them. Sub Hunt, Space Battle, Sea Battle, another copy of Sub Hunt. Got two copies. Frog Bug, Major League Baseball, two copies of Poker and Blackjack, Astro Mash, okay. And then I got these uh, ordinary in television games. They say I Magic on the cart. Space, oh, sorry, Safe Cracker. Two copies of Atlantis. One of Demo uh, Demon Attack. Okay, Demon Attack and Truckin'. <laughs> it's like, holy cow, that's a lot of games. I'm yeah. like, ah, I don't know what... I'm just going to grab them all. I'm like, what is it? It's it's like 80 bucks. Luckily, I had two rewards cards that I hadn't finished filling out. So when I brought them up there, I filled both of them out at the same time and I saved 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I got another re rewards card nearly half filled out again. So... <laughs> All right, enough of that, so time to get to the actual game. And the game we're playing today is Good Old Street Skater on the original PlayStation, or PS1, or PSX, whatever people want to call it now. PSX? Of course, we're going to be playing it on um, the PS3 just because it's easier to capture into my whole page. Yeah. Usually I like playing this stuff on the original consoles. Like if we're playing Nintendo, we play it, play it on an NES and we don't use some Retron 5 or anything. Mm. But we're going to go play it through the PS3. Now, I grew up with this game. I played it all the time as a kid because I am a skateboarder. I loved skateboarding as a kid, and when this game came out, I was like, oh, wow, awesome. And my dad got it for me for my birthday, and so I played the snot out of it as a kid. Um, great music in here. This game actually became so nostalgic for me in the music department that I remember being in high school and I would just play the disc in my CD player and just listen to music when I'd be driving back and forth from school. I always loved that feature. But we're going to be playing Street Skater and it is complete. We got the manual and everything so we're going to be checking the manual out and hopefully we can beat the son of a gun. Now I haven't played this game for years so get, I'm used to like Tony Hawk pro skater controls and this is a little bit different than that so it's going to be goofy trying to get re-familiarized with everything mm. so whatever let's pop the puppy in and get going you ready to play i'm game all right so this is street skater and we're going to get started right here all right so i hit start now we got we got street tour Free skate versus mode, but we're not going to do that. I don't have to tell and configuration. So we're going to configuration options. The problem is, is we're going to have to turn the music off because copyright. I don't want to get copyright struck. It's going to be mad as soon as soon as you play the game. Some random obscure band will come out here and boom, copyright claim the video. Yeah, they'll just walk right in here and be like, you can't yeah, do that. Exactly. That's what happened last time. All right, so here we go. We're going to go with Street Tour. And now we can pick our player. We got him. Um, He's so shaky. Yeah, scared. <laughs> Just scared to death. So we got TJ. He skates regular style. I can't make the half pipe. We got Jerry, who skates goofy style. and He's, once again, scared to death. <laughs> then we got Ginger, who skates regular. And those pixels, though. And uh, Frankie, who's also a goofy... Goofy skater. Doing Funny the... thing is, is she's probably the best skater. Why? Of course. Because she's the best player in the game. Why? Because the, the lack of clothing. Of course. Video game logic. Yeah. Don't believe us? Watch our previous videos. You take off your clothes, you play better. Yeah, you're Duh. a better player. So, whatever. I'm just going to pick my guy who I always went with all the time, TJ. And you can upgrade him, too. And you get the different boards, so... Mm. You can Bad. pick your different stuff. Badness, man. Yeah. Oh, and I always used to play with this one because I always thought it was cool as a kid. So I'm going to pick right, that. All right, bro. Uh, and you're going to go oh, first. Don't. You've oh. never played it before. You've never even tested the controls for it. No. Nope. Completely blind. Completely blind play. 
So here we go. Um, whoop, whoop. So when you, oh, jeez. Oh, so just pushing the X button makes him jump automatically. Yeah. So when you hit the X button, he'll automatically jump. So what you're supposed to do, oh, that is not a ramp. <clears throat> what you're supposed to do is, like, whenever you find benches, you can grind on them and stuff. Well, there's a ramp coming up. So what you want to do is hit the X button and a direction. Now. Oh. oh. And he'll do a trick. Wait, hit the what button? X button. Huh. And a direction. And then you can jump on the rail, grind that. And I forgot which one the break is. And if you get square. in the, if you know, get in the grass, he moves faster, too. Into the grass? Yeah. He moves slower, you mean? When you're on the rocks, he moves faster in the grass. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. I guess grass would be a little faster than gravel. All right, so right now you're doing that, and um, the more tricks you perform, then you sit there and get points like that. You got 898 points. The more you stay in this area and dink around, your points actually go down. Oh, really? After a while. And you'll hear the, the crowd start booing you and stuff. Ow. Because like, what are you doing? Quit screwing around. I don't know how to get out of this thing. And you got a time limit, too. Wrong way, wrong way. It's like, how the f do I get out? Fine, let's pass it then. Uh, All you have to do is turn around. I don't know why you're afraid of it. I was thinking maybe I would take a shortcut to another direction, but there's nothing over here. Time's up. <laughs> Great. You want me to start off? Just, Just mad. mad. Bust the board. So mad. Again? So then... Alright, so I'm getting the hang of it. I only know like Three, two buttons. Two, one, so you can grind on those little ledges right there. Oh, these? No, to the left. Oh. I'm gonna call them the plant baffle, because I can't think of what stuff like that would be called. It's a bed. It's a flower bed, man. Duh. And if you hit circle, I believe he um squats down oh. so you can jump higher. Oh, oh I see. So if you hit X while he's like crouching down, apparently he goes jumps higher. Ah, fudge. <laughs> Oh, he, he does, takes corners better when you hit the O button. And if you hit triangle, I believe Back that's hit. when he, he pushes. So one of the things I used to do is sit in here and try to rack up some points Crazy until the boy. crowd starts booing you. Ah. And then you just move on to the next section. Seeing a little arrow will pop there. up too, showing you which way to go. Ah. Back and it's cool too, it'll actually show you the Back trick hit. names. See, now you're getting, like, only 20 points for that stuff. Yeah. Well, I was... Is there a way for him to actually jump out of this thing? Like, what the heck? You just... You gotta skate out. You can't... You can't actually walk off your board. Like, I know, but, like, can't he jump up over the railing or something? Or is there... No. I have to go out a door? You have to go out that way? I didn't know there was a door. I thought I was trying to get up over the... the pipe. Okay. The thing is, I used to play this game so much, I used to be able to, like, hit every single one of those, um, flower beds. Just bam, bam, bam! And you get so used to, like, doing tricks and stuff, like here, I used to hit all three ramps, and by the time I hit the third ramp, you'd go really high and land on that grind rail. It's, like, it's awesome when you're able to, like, pull stuff like that off. It's kind of funny they call the game it's like street skater and what's he doing that skates vert skating vert the whole time ah okay i didn't know that was there that's not good for my health oh it's funny too looking at the old uh, playstation graphics like cardboard cutouts yeah there, watching you yeah, it is. Oh. And there's a rail you can grind on. Oh. Ramp you can do tricks on. Red. Otherwise, like, you can't do any tricks. But then this is the goal. Excellent! You finished! Excellent! The the Excellent! So you got 6,000 points. You have to have 13,000 in order to complete the stage. 
It's funny, too, that he messes up and he's just ready to bust his board. Yeah. Typical skateboarder. <laughs> didn't do it. He didn't do a kickflip correct, so he's going to break his board. Yeah. Three, two, one. Medic! Minus 300 points. This is what I would be like skateboarding in real life. Medic! It's like most games do not reflect reality, but this is uh, this is pretty realistic there. <laughs> I can't grind! And it's funny too, like there's little path pathways like up there. <laughs> and like that right behind you there's a path. As you beat the game and progress onward you can start the game and unlock different pathways. Uh -huh. Which is pretty cool. And it's weird too because a game like this I'd be really used to using the analog controls. But you can't. You have to use the D-pad. Hmm. And like, and so, and that's the thing like I mentioned before, like playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater. It's like the controls are so different. It's like this is like completely watered down compared to like Tony Hawk. Hmm. I'm not sure which came first. I have to Google it. But it's like the controls are just so simple and basic compared to Tony Hawk. And it's weird. You play Tony Hawk Pro Skater and come back to this. It's like, holy smoke. Because you can't do kick flips. You can't do all, like um, kick flips, heel flips, anything on the ground. You can only do tricks when you're like on ramps. Do invert or hitting a ramp. Ow. I didn't know that was there. It's kind of funny, too, because in a sense, this is almost set up like a race car game. You get, like, your time checkpoints. Oh, yeah. But it's like, imagine being in a car and doing tricks. That's what it's like. That's the end of the run. Oh, jeez. Oh, you didn't beat it. You gotta get 13,000. 13,000? You got 5,000. <laughs> so basically, I gotta do 10 times better. Check out the manual. Let me guess, there's a storyline to it. Yeah, the manual says that there are over 200 tricks and combinations. Original. Oh, it is. So they're from Powell. Original deck graphics from Powell Skateboard. So that's kind of cool. They actually have Powell involved. Hmm. Slam and soundtrack from Epitaph and Capitol Records. So that's pretty cool. And if anyone wants to actually listen to the music, just YouTube Street Skater, and like the one of the first things that'll pop up is soundtracks. Yeah, and you can put that on while watching this, and it's like we have the music on. Yeah. Try again. All right. So right now we're in Los Angeles. It's funny too. Like I wonder if like we, could like pause the game like Jeez. when those buildings were around. Isn't that fun? That's fun. Yeah, that's what we call fun. Fat hits, yo! And every time we base, Ow. every time we complete a course, we can upgrade the skater, which is kind of cool. So like, you can make them jump higher, or have their turning be better, or have their speed go up. Okay, I'm not figuring out what the uh, action button is. To build up speed, press and hold circle. To slow down, press triangle, and to perform an ollie, press X. So what you have to do is, like, right when you hit the tip of the ramp, yeah. that's when you push a direction button and hit the X button. Huh. So, like, hold down and hit X. And then hold left and hit X. Oh, boxes. That'd be fun. Smash. Smash right into a concrete wall. I've done that. Not really. Kind of felt like it once. Hey, pick up the pace. Ow, fudge. Hey. Just jump right over it. Oh, it can't do it anymore. It's, and it has their stats in here too, like TJ. He's five foot ten and nineteen years old. His skate style is regular, obviously. Yeah. His favorite song is Honey Peeps by the band called All, which I actually really like. <laughs> His favorite trick is a frontside 720 mute to indie to tail grab. Hmm. Favorite tip, grind everything you can. The points add up. Just like Miley Cyrus. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should turn. Oh. I'm trying to use a joystick, stupid. It doesn't even... It's not on. Stop. What? I did not tell you to go that way. 
back. Can you go backwards, please? No, there's no backwards. Uh, 140 points. Crimeny. Dude! Everyone's booing me. It's like, stop making points! Boo! See, right here, when you're in the rocks, yeah, I think it goes slower, and when you're in the grassy, it goes a little bit faster. I'm sitting here button mashing, and it won't do jack. See, that's a, what I mean, like, with the controls are so simple, you don't have to do that. Like, all you have, like, pretty much, you can just let go of the controller, and he'll skate on his own. Yeah. So you just hold the direction button and push the X when he hits the tip. Now, mm. and then you just maneuver around. Just keep it real simple. Bam! See, that's one thing that I always like doing. Yeah, I get right in their face. You can, um, if you're worried about slamming into a wall, uh. one thing I'll do is I'll do a trick. It's hard to explain, but you do a trick and you fly over as far as you can to a wall. Mm. And you'll hit that invisible wall mm. and, like, attach to it and come down like normal without actually biffing it up. Huh. Crazy. Like I was saying, too, it's funny. Like, that invisible wall stuff. Yeah. Just like real life. If you were to jump over that, you would hit the invisible wall. Yeah, just like in real life. Yeah. I'm trying to read some of the uh, graffiti. It's tough, though. Oh, it's like, you have to zigzag back and forth to get it over there, otherwise you end up hitting a wall. The way that camera moves, it's all screwy. Like, I see stuff, trick. Hmm. Not a trick, this is where you do a trick. Walk. Hall. Hey, pick up the pace! Time's up! Ah, like crying out loud. I hate these controls. They're just terrible. Awful. It's not the controls, it's the wheels. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my uh the wheels are bad. He's got he's got Spitfire wheels. He doesn't have element wheels. <laughs> it completely ruins the game for you. Yeah. Cuz you're not used to it. You're not used to skating with Spitfire. Yeah, exactly. And he also has lucky bearings. You're not used to skating with lucky mm -mm. bearings. No, we gotta switch out our bearings, man. And he's also using Jessup grip tape. Yeah, exactly. Name dropping. Medic! Crying a lot. See, it'd be kind of funny if they allowed you to like fly off the edge. But they don't. And you suck. You got six thousand points, almost seven. That didn't even look like you were on the ramp. No, just glitched out and allowed you to do it. It's like, ah, we'll give him this one. He's doing so badly. Whoops! I went the wrong way out. Ah, now I gone biffed it. Ah, oh, I ruined that awesome score. <laughs> Jumps right over it. It's like you have to go right into it, but then you end up smacking yourself in the face. Right in an invisible wall. Jeez. Like, that's fun. That'd be fun. Just go into town on your skateboard, just flying, and what do you do? Hit a bunch of rocks. Yeah. See, that's not realistic. If you hit a rock in real life, which is hilarious, they allow you to run over, like, just tons of gravel, dirt, and yeah. big, giant, fat rocks. They allow you to do that. What's it like in real life? You're skating in a skate park. Hit a There's teeny, tiny the pebble. tiniest little pebble. You can't even see it. You're just going, you're going, next thing you know, you go flying, Scoots, smash yeah. your face in the concrete. Smoking, you turn around, what I hit, what I hit. There's a little tiny pebble, and you can see where you scraped it across the concrete. Yeah. Hate that crap. You're smoking, dude. You're smoking. I know, I know. See, and it does that stuff, too. Like, it'll um, snap you back to regular. Yeah. And sometimes you can use that to land on rails. Cool. When I used to play this all the time as a kid, I mean, this is like one of my only few games on the PlayStation. 
And I was a skateboarder. That's true. And so I just played it all the time. I'm glad it didn't smack me into the wall over there. I'm not going fast enough. You can't do it if he's not going fast enough. Ah, oh, calamity. Published ah. it. Like, how am I supposed to get up the points if you don't give me the time? Ah! So, pixel perfect. Bam! Ah! Grand. Grand piano. Come on, hurry up, man. Hurry up. He's not gonna make it. So, bam! I'm just gonna stand here now. Ah! Like there, boom. What the, uh, what the heck? I hit the button while I was going. I guess I'm just not going fast enough. I'm late, I'm late. Very important date. Time's up. Smack. Now he's just putting his head down in shame. He's not even getting mad. Like, what the heck? Why did you completely change directions? 360. Or whatever. Complete 180. Fine, whatever. I don't even care. I'm just gonna go the wrong way now. Maybe I'll end up going the right way. What the heck? Why did he do that? I'm just trying to hit the buttons. Calamity. Why is he going the wrong way now? I'm like, nah, I'm gonna go this way now. I was uh -oh. like, that's not even my fault. Now you're skating goofy footed. Uh -oh. Am I? Where's it say that? Uh oh. You making that up? No. Nag, nab it. I'm not even anywhere near it. Just like it pulls me into it. Too late again. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh. 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 That's the end of the run. And that's the end of your life. I got 7,000. It's better. See, now he's not getting mad anymore. Yeah. He's like, this is ridiculous. Hang my head in shame. Now, if you're watching it, it looks like I should be. Why don't I just swing over here and get them all? Come on. Yeah, come on. What are you doing? Backwards. But, but when you're doing it, it's like, uh, uh. what the heck? What am I doing wrong here? What the heck? You put down a number, you put down a direction, and you hit the X button, right? Am I doing it wrong? Are you getting closer? Seven, seven, seven. The world is going to end. Christ is going to come back. I hit 777. That's what it's going to be based on. Oh, you got the high score? <laughs> Remember that in July 7th, 2007? <laughs> All the cults were like, he's going to come back. Yeah. <laughs> you Remember when they even put billboards up? I saw that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how about that part of the Bible where, you know, no, no man knows the, the date or the hour? Not even the Son of Man himself. So it's like, if the Son of Man doesn't know, then how can anybody in the church know? So arrogant. Everyone's just mad. Yeah. How Believe dare God. you shove this down my throat? Everyone's just mad. Just angry. Yeah, and we're attacking the people who are shoving it down people's throats. But people are going to be mad at us. Come on, man! Go straight! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Everyone's like, that's what you get for talking about God. That's what you get for mentioning oh, God and Jesus. Try again. Flings me into the wall. Now I can't get back onto the bar. I tried so friggin' hard. I guess you're just not meant to be a lawyer. What? Oh, I get it. I can't get to the bar. 
Oh, that took me a while. I will pick up the excellent. Wow, 9,000. Wow. Boo, 9,000. Hurry up, I want to play. Do a cool trick. Oh! Uh, no, I'll just biff it. Oh! What did I tell you about encouraging me? It always distracts me from being awesome. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, ho. okay. You can. You got a bonus stage. Oh. So we'll do that. Now you can give yourself different stats. You have four points. Mm hmm. Usually I just try to keep stuff even. Fine. I'll do what you do. I'll follow Janitor Jake. Get more hops, cause I ain't got no hops. Cause I'm a white boy. All right, so now you gotta skate the half pipe. Some of them are different. Some of them is point bonus. Other ones you gotta get like how high you get up. This one I think is just how many points can you rack up. And see now that you leveled up, you're gonna get different tricks. Hmm. And I don't know what the um bonus does. Ah! I don't know what the bonus points are supposed to do. What? Uh, oh. Hmm. And that's another cool feature that when you beat a stage, then you'll progress and get different, different tricks. Mm. Alright, so you're done with that. I'm gonna take over. Well, you messed that up, so you have to start the entire game all over again. No. That's not true. All right, and I haven't played this game for years. I gotta get 17,000 points. Time to break the rust off my knuckles. Wow. All right. And we're supposed to be in um different places too. I'm not sure where this is supposed to be. Maybe the manual says it. But there's like Tokyo and Los Angeles and all sorts of stuff. Alright, come on. A little bit delayed. Do one more. I'm gonna skip. Well, I'm gonna hit that. I remember I used to try to hit those and get up into the signs. Hmm. See now you're getting like up into the th like a thousand points for doing tricks, hmm. which is pretty cool. Hmm. And like I said, it's kind of funny they call this game Street Skater, but like most of the time you get points, it's skating on all the vert. Yeah, yeah, really. All right, come on. I always liked this part too because of the glass wall. Mm. I always thought this part looked really cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. Alright, do a trick right here. Now I'm going to see if I can't. Alright. And this I used to do something. I can't remember. I think. Uh, there, and he, he, he'll, he should. No. Nah. Alright. Never mind. I was thinking he might straighten out, but man, I don't know why you think it's so hard. I don't get it. Oh, man. All right, it's cool too. Like time progress. Like this stage is dark. Yeah. See, it's getting nighttime out. In the last stage, you could see the sun setting. Huh. Cool. All right, so we're gonna go like that, 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 and that. There we go. Even. Hmm. Alright, so this bonus stage, half pipe again. See, and it does it, it'll be random. We might not even get to see the bowl or um, or anything like that. Hmm. Bowl? Smoking a bowl? Yeah. You're smoking in the bowl! And every time I land, I'm holding the O button too to gain up that speed. Hmm. And I think if you hold like up, You'll do a trick. 
And then if like, I hold right, he'll do a trick. But if you hold up and to the right, he'll do a completely different trick. Huh. Time's up. That's the end of the run. I was trying the diagonal tricks. Oh, you get bonus time for for these rounds. Oh. All oh. right, so that was it. I'm going to pass it off to you. Now you got stage three. Wow. So right now you can do some tricks on the sides. Oh, cool. This stage I always used to love playing. I always had lots of fun playing on this stage, but Not there's there. a lot of um, all sorts of goofy stuff. You got to have your timing really well. Hmm. Really well timed out. Yeah, so stage one was Los Angeles. Stage two, which I played through, was New York. This one is Tokyo. It's cool too, like when you max out his jump power, like he'll go flying in the air. Really? <laughs> no chance. Absolutely every chance you ever had of getting there in time just ran out. And this is the final stage. Oh, is this the final stage? Yeah. So like right here I used to trick over, land on that oh. ramp, do a trick, instantly turn around, and then go that way to the to the right. Oh, I and see. then jump and hit that grind rail right there to the left on that oh. thing. Oh, I didn't even know you could get on here. Oh, I thought there was going to be an invisible wall like last time. You're yeah. just supposed to know. This time there's no invisible wall. Whoa, what are you doing, man, with your leg there? Doing the stanky leg. Yeah. Is he gonna whip the nene too? Yeah. Sticking out that stanky oh, leg. I keep hitting the wrong button to accelerate. Watching the cottage cheese fall out of it. Oh, come on, man. Nasty. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't count on this. Um, I did not do a trick. <laughs> That's me on the skate park. I just sort of stand there and let the floor, like, throw me around. Okay. Yeah, and here you can do tricks and stuff, <laughs> too. I'm not even piloting this thing anymore. <laughs> this always used to be my favorite stage, though, like I said, because there's, like, all these ramps and everything, and you can just, like... When you get really used to it, you can fly through this thing and just rack up the points like crazy. I hate to be stereotypical, Chris, but uh, this reminds me of Sonic. <laughs> There's a level in 3D Blast that's like, like that, where it's like a half pipe. <laughs> and like I said, as you um, progress through and actually beat the stages with the multiple skaters, you'll unlock stuff till you will unlock more skaters and you'll unlock um, different path pathways. Hmm. Like, there's a wall right here. Bam. I said jump! It's like, um... Okay, apparently I'm supposed to go over to the other one. Did not know that. It's like, oh, it's the top of the half pipe, right? Wait, there's a left? Okay, then why is it... Oh, this is one of those unlockable things, yeah. right? Yeah. They're all booing me. See, and it's funny because the reason why they're booing you is because you're only doing a level 3 trick when you should be like doing level 5 and level 7 tricks. But those tricks are only on like the big ramps. Mmm. Oh. It's right there. Right in my front of my face. So these are like steps because it keeps... Yeah. He gets air every time he gets to the end of the step there. 
and I'm trying to jump. Those are some pretty big steps. Yeah. Set of stairs. It's for those Japanese giants. Hey, pick up the pace. <laughs> yeah, way to hit the right button, Chris. Oh, oh, thanks. Thanks, man. Oh, give me a second chance? You want to do it? Fine. Let's waste my time. Rand. By skating on Switch. Oh, there's a... How am I supposed to do tricks, then, if there's a friggin' guard up there? Oh. <laughs> Didn't even see it. <laughs> Way to do some crazy trick to get yourself hurt. Just extra work. Water. It's probably just not killing you. Yeah, really. I I fall, see what that's for. fall in the water, die. Like in every other video game. Yeah, oh, the water's gonna kill you. Simon Belmont, Castlevania, he can't yeah. handle it, just die. Quinn Hart from um, Vice Project Doom just can't handle, handle, can't handle water. water no. Fall in there and die. Hydrophobes. Oh, that is not a pipe. I don't think you've made it this far. No, this is the first time I've been here so far. It's like the longest yeah. stage, too. What is it? The longest mile. Ah, hey, oh, come on! A split second too late. You Excellent! You totally bodacious! 12,000. Almost Completely 13. ruined. Completely wrong. Inconceivable! Broken, come on, turn around! Looks... Undeniable. <laughs> Uncontainable. <laughs> uh, like five people are gonna get that, maybe. Out of ten thousand. <laughs> and we know it by name! <laughs> I'm surprised he does. Since he loves cheering TJ on so much, I'm surprised he's not like. Unfathomable! <laughs> uncontainable! You place the stars in the skies and you call them by name, brah! <laughs> I wanna grind that rail. BAM! Medic! It's like I'm not even. It's a. Uh... Like, look at me, what the bro. Heck? I said jump! Time. Ah! Medic! How am I supposed to get by that? Oh no. <laughs> Except maybe increasing your. What the? F Who put that there? Both my legs break as I land at. Just bam! <laughs> what? Alright, let me see that. <laughs> maybe you need to eat. Yeah. <clears throat> You're a smokemon! Oh. See, like, I, I, you have to know to memorize. Yeah, exactly Crazy where to jump. Watch. Break. Oh. Then he Ooh. should straighten out. Or at least, it, if he's gonna hit the ramp, he won't flatten out. But otherwise, if he's going to miss the ramp, you'll see him flatten himself out. Mm. And he'll land straight. Mm. Like this, I know to memorize. Come over here. Oh. When you do the trick right. My problem is I keep holding the circle button down so I get my speed up. And then I get going too fast. Wow. Maybe it just won't hold the circle button down. That launch was certifiable! That's what they say at SpaceX all the time. Just launch a rocket. Crazy launch! I'm 
I'm gonna go out to the backyard and have a brewski. Oh, that's a crazy lawn chair! <laughs> well, time for my lunch break. Wow, oh, crazy lunch! This guy just talks like that all the time. There's not... <laughs> it's not even making stuff up now. It's not acting. What, what the, the heck? heck? <laughs> that screw it invisible wall right here for you. <laughs> it's just like invisible clothesline. Because why not? Uh, it's just why not? Just decapitates well. him. Yeah, I, I always try to make jumps there, and there's no jumps to make. I used to work uh, rollerblade all the time just for fun. Uh, rollerblade along around the town just because it was fun to zoom around the town. I went by this uh, frat house or whatever, some party. Someone said, "Hey, man, do some tricks." Like I'm out on rollerblades in the middle of a street. What do you want me to do? Yeah. So we cleared stage number three. Yes. This is the second to last stage, right? Pretty sure it's the last stage. Oh! Woo! Roll credits now. Woo! Gate open. Stage one, number one gate, and stage one, number two gate. Oh, so you can go back and. So now you can go gates. back to like stage one and stuff like that, and go through the cool different pathways. Oh. And then of course you got, and you can do slow motion. Oh really? Or you can pause it. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Skip that. And see, you can keep on um, leveling them up. <laughs> so you can just keep playing and m completely max the guy out. Nice. And then that's it. Start right back over. All right. So you get those three levels and see you maintain all that. So you can keep switching off. Switching off. And so each character get maintains their own stats. So you can build up each character. Yeah. And like I said, there's also more characters. Like you have TJ, Jerry, Ginger, and Frankie. Huh. But then as you beat them, like I think if you beat them with all the characters, you'll get more characters. Huh. You can unlock more characters. Like one of them name is Sarah hmm. and stuff like that. Hmm. So that's pretty awesome. Crazy. All right, that was Street Skater on the good old PS1 or the original PlayStation. So what did you think? It was pretty good once you got the hang of it. It really was, um, like I said, a game of memorization. And when you think of it that way, with the world rushing at you, I think I, I think uh, an old school um, an analogy to it would be like 3D World Runner, yeah. except you can move around and do a lot more different stuff. Knowing the tricks and how to do that, it is a little bit more, you know, open world. You know, in terms of you can do tricks here and there and everywhere, and like like you said, try to rack up points in a half pipe and then move on, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Um, each level is different. It's not like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start playing. I'm gonna know how to do it awesomely because I'm an awesome skater. It's like you don't know this level at all. You have to do it over and over and over again until you eventually learn it. Um, yeah, and with um with the whole memorization thing too. Like I said, I played it a lot as a kid. Now, obviously, I did better as a kid because this is all I like. I played, mm -hmm. just sat and played it for hours on end. Yeah. And what's really fun, it gets to be fun and addicting when you're used to it. But it's a point of memorization, like knowing to hit a ramp and go up. You can hit this ramp, but right when you're hitting it, you turn so you know to hit that ramp. And then you hit the grind rail, and yeah. then it's like you're racking up these points, and you're doing this huge, flawless run. And it looks really cool. A lot of experimentation with bonus whatever Cut. tricks. And like on that final stage that, that we went through, like right away, hitting that big ramp, landing on that big ramp, then going and hitting the other ramp, like what yeah. you were doing. Yeah, it's trying to. And it's like when you can finally do it, it's awesome, and you rack up a bunch of points. Hmm. But like I said, I grew up with this game. I thought it was great. The only problem I have is not being able to turn the music on mm. because of I'm copyright. Sure. sure it would be great. Because the music is awesome. It fits really well. Mm. Works great with the game. There really wasn't too much quirkiness. My issue is just getting used to that speed. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're doing the half pipes, half pipe. Okay, 
come out of the pipe and all of a sudden you're like going so fast you're like mm. whipping everywhere yeah and you can't do any tricks then well, that's why you use the brake that's why you hit the brake button yeah all right now as far as the amount of time it took to beat this game you and i just dinking around you've never played it before no so this was a brand new experience for you mm -hmm. it took us about two hours to beat it yeah there are only three levels and yeah. a few bonus stages every nice. you beat level one you get level one a bonus stage level two a bonus stage and then level three yeah. so, so theoretically it's like five stages and um yeah, I don't know. You could probably beat it, and I never timed it. Yeah. What, 10 minutes, maybe? However long it takes to rush through it. Probably. You can probably beat it in about 10 minutes. So it's a pretty short game. Yeah. But it's fun, and you got a lot of replay value in there because you got all these characters and stats to build up. And so it's like, it's almost in that way, yeah, it gives you a lot more open world control with it because you got the each of the characters you got to keep replaying to build up more stats, unlock more stuff. Just like. My old go-to favorite, Star Wars Demolition. You know, you go through it multiple times in different kinds of games. Eventually, you rack up all these points and unlock all these characters and worlds. Yeah, and that's what one thing, like what you said, that makes it really cool to be able to go back and play it. Because you can 100% complete the game. Yeah. You play as TJ, you go through all the stages, beat it, try to get the high score, and eventually you max out his stats. Yeah. You unlock everything. You unlock the characters. Then you move on to the next character mm -hmm. and try to unlock more and try to fully max out his stats. Yeah, I also like that you are um, you can unlock parts of levels. Not just yeah. brand new levels, but go back to the old ones and give them more uh, more to experiment and play around with. Yeah, and that's what I meant. I don't know if I said it, but you don't actually unlock other levels. Okay. You unlock other skaters. But what about that uh, bowl? Thing? And then the pa the bowl is a bonus stage, and that's what kind of ticks oh, me off, so. is those bonus stages are, are always kind of like random. Like, oh. we got the half pipe twice. Yeah. That was stupid. I wish we would have gotten, like, the bowl and then, like, either the half pipe or the, hmm. the big air or whatever that one is. Hmm. But there are three bonus levels, so that's a thing to play and keep trying to unlock the different bonus levels. Yeah. But you can unlock the bonus, get different bonus levels, but you unlock skaters. There's tons of tricks, too. It says over 200 tricks. There probably is. You can do all sorts of stuff. And what you said, it's awesome, too. We can unlock the different paths. Yeah. So you go back to the first stage. Well, let's take this path. Yeah. Let's, and then here's another one. So you can unlock all sorts of stuff. Now, as far as the price goes for the game, if you want it complete, the disc, the manual, it'll run you about five bucks. Just the disc only, it's about $2. Huh. So, do you think the gameplay is worth, let's go high, five bucks? Do you think it'd be worth it? Now, is, when we talk about is it worth it, I mean like the gameplay. Yeah. Do you think the game itself is yeah. actually worth the five dollars? Is it worth it to have the game itself? I think so. I think it's worth five bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think it's worth five bucks. Like I said, it's a fun, addicting game. You know, you get used to it, you start playing it. Yeah. Okay, now you're finally used to it, so you play it for a while. Now you're used to it. Yeah. Now you're having fun, learning all these cool tricks in different ways. Like um, we, as skateboarders, we called it runs. Yeah. Doing a skate run, you do a trick here, a trick here, land on this rail, and then do a trick over here. Yeah. So it's cool when you can get your run runs down and unlocking the other characters as well. Yeah. It depends what you're into. I think, you know, in general, the average person would, would probably enjoy it for five bucks. For me, that's my limit. I, yeah, I know I'm a, I'm a cheap skate, no pun intended. But uh, this is, uh, if, I, if I saw it in a store for five bucks, I would say, fine, I'll drop a fiver on that. If yeah. I saw it in the store for six bucks, I'd be like, ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and they should not be charging six bucks anyway, since the average price yeah, in the price video gaming five. world is five bucks yeah, for the so game. Don't charge more than that. So don't overprice yeah. it like a thrift store would. Yeah, like good old St. Vincent's. St. Vincent prices. But anyway, that was Street Skater on the original PlayStation. Cool. I grew up playing it, so I have the nostalgic factor. But it also it also is a pretty fun and addicting game when you get used to it. And I think I'm, I'm, I might agree with you. I might enjoy it more with the music in there, too. Yeah. But, yeah. Cool. So go out and find a copy for, you know, five bucks. Sit back and play it and listen to some awesome tunes. Awesome. So, whatever. I'm Janitor Jake. I'm Chris K. And uh, thanks for watching.